Hi all, welcome to the marquee matchups for the weekend of the 9th guys. Hopefully you found last week's one as useful guys, made yourself some good profit added from the Swiss League. Uh, if we can smash likes guys, we much appreciate it. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jesus Legend. All the links are down below guys, as usual, for social media and playlists on the channel guys. Lots of games to be covered guys, and as usual we will also cover the trading tips in the next video. So let's jump into this week's games guys. First route to consider is Derby versus Nottingham Forest guys, this is a little fun route to cover and it's very very cheap guys, a lot of these are packed, the only ones I've had to kind of buy are the silvers, but in terms of expectations guys, I would expect one player or two from either side, so Derby County and Nottingham Forest, cover yourself with one or two players from each side and kind of buy a lot of the cheap golds that you see like Mui, Parker, Shackle, Beedland, Poganoli and Knockout. A lot of these guys are cheap, they go for 300-350 coins um, I've noticed and for me personally a ha having a high overall is quite useful guys. If need be as well you can buy like Stoikovic to cover your um, route and goals. They may make it a nations requirement as well guys. I've got quite a lot of nations covered as well because the championship does have a lot of nations but all in all guys, nice and easy and I'm actually going to say they're going to give you a jumbo premium gold pack and a thousand coins for a reward. Second route guys is the Pro League of Club Bruges versus Andalite guys. This is a big game in Belgium and this could be one tasty tasty route. I'm going to say one player from each side guys, don't expect anything more because of the Pro League SBC that is still ongoing and will go to the end of FIFA. In my personal opinion guys, they're not kind of focused too heavily on an overall because then that will kind of hurt the prices even more. Expect one, just focus on one player from each team and at least just focusing on the Pro League and then from there focusing on a nation's requirement guys. That is my personal focus on it and it will be a 7.5k pack. They won't give you too great a reward. MK Dons AFC Wimbledon guys is one of the biggest games honestly next week guys. This is a major major game and it's going to be a very interesting route on where they will go. My personal opinion will be this could be an exactly rare, this could be an exactly silver route but then again I highly doubt that. They will probably make it like an overall of around about 67 to 68. Expect a minimum rare player requirement guys. There is lots of rare players in the League 1 guys, so kind of keep yourself well covered on that. One or two players from each side guys, this could be one of these ones where I think two players will come from each team because this is not a route nation, um, naturally people will prepare for and as a result I will say as a reward a premium gold players pack will be the reward guys, the 25k ones. I think they will give you a very worthwhile reward or a premium silver players pack. The Swiss League guys is next and I will honestly say I don't think this route will happen now solely because Young Boys and Basel are out for this week. However, it is still worth considering guys. Um, time of this video going live, um, this squad has been sold but I have rebuilt it to kind of this spec and in all honesty guys, I would say this is not too expensive. Um, the FC Foon and Young Boys um, is deemed a derby but it will be one player from each side, but a lot of them will still be super expensive guys if you try and buy them now over the weekend. It may drop over the week, um, but just be wary guys. Nations will probably be a requirement as well. Don't expect a rating requirement because that will just kind of kill it all told, but should be fun. The Turin Derby guys of Torino versus Juventus guys, this should be a likely option and it would kind of not be seen as a curveball, this would kind of be a more likely route. In terms of this guys, expect mostly to focus on the overall rare perspective, so like rare players you want to give yourself quite a few but like say 5 or 6 rare players and then from there you want to kind of buy up a number of the gold, expect exactly gold about 78 to 79 rating and you'd, you'd be well covered guys in terms of an overall, it's not going to be difficult but a decent reward of a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and 1500 coins guys. PSG versus Nice guys, this is one of the less likely routes to cover but then again it is not necessarily a route that you might easily forget about because both teams are so high up in the French League just now with both of them kind of 
top two teams. I would honestly say this could be a route that they will cover. Expect one player from each side, guys, and expect a rare player's requirement, guys. Um, in that essence, Danilo Pereira at right back, guys, could be a very valuable card if this route was to come in and if a nation's requirement was to come into the equation as well because he covers Portuguese, he's a rare player and he plays for Nice and the price would just probably skyrocket to like 4 or 5k. It'd be interesting and fun. Benfica Sporting guys for the next route guys. This is a big game in Portugal and it's going to be very interesting to see if they incorporate this route. I would say one player from each side but they also mean I highly doubt they'd go even the extent of two. This for me could be the partial squad builder route that they may cover. So keep that in mind when you're building this squad guys. In terms of rewards, this could be like a 7.5k pack. But if they were to focus on a partial squad builder route, expect the chemistry to be quite high. So therefore expect to have a lot of these guys on loyalty. So keep that in mind if they kind of cover that route. My personal opinion is if they were to cover a partial squad builder route, expect the left and right sides to be non-existent and you're only kind of focusing on like goalkeeper and the midfield but that could be what might happen. MLS final guys between Toronto and the Sounders guys this is going to probably happen uh, saying that the J League final did not happen with the second leg with being that t um, tomorrow however guys I would say the MLS route is a very likely and viable route guys I would expect one or two players from each side to be thrown in I've got plenty Sounders players, I've got plenty Toronto players and there is decent enough um, players across the league to kind of throw in as well if need be and I would say guys you want to kind of get yourself a decent overall but also a decent um, nations mix as well because I can see them putting in quite a few nations in just to make it a little bit more interesting like they did a couple of weeks ago with the nations and clubs requirement but it should be fun. And the last route guys is the Primera Division guys. This is a massive massive game between Boca Juniors and River Plate guys. I would say this will be one or two players from each team. Decent reward to be had. I don't expect an all gold route. I don't expect anything insane to kind of happen. My personal feeling is this will be a very expensive route if they incorporate once players um, are of a certain nation and club. Um, so kind of cover your base with a number of the nations guys like Uruguay, Colombia and look at the rare players as well guys. I would say they're going to make it minimum four rare players in the squad guys and obviously keep it to the one league and from there you should be well covered guys. I've got plenty Boca Juniors, I've got plenty River Plate players on the side. Um, a very valuable player in my personal opinion for this could be Andres De Alessandro, the River Plate Cam, he is 79 rated guys and could be a very valuable card come this SBC if it was to happen guys. So all in all guys, that is all the games covered for this week. Let me know in the comments down below guys what routes you are going to cover your coins with. Myself personally, all I'm going to do this week is build up all the squads, I'm not doing any serious planning. So hope you enjoyed guys, remember to smash the like, sub to the channel if you're new and I will see you all later guys.